All right, uh, hello there. Today I'm going to demonstrate uh, two tests, actually, uh, since they're very much related. That would be ASTM C138, the unit weight test, and ASTM C231, uh, air content by the pressure air meter. Uh, the reason I'm demonstrating these two tests together is because you need to fill the base of the pressure air meter to do the unit weight test, and at that point, you might as well just go through and do them both. If you're doing ACI field certification, you typically do these two tests together. So before you get begin, make sure you got everything you need. Of course, you need a sample of concrete right there. You'll need a scoop, mallet, and rod. You'll need a strap uh, plate. syringe to get water, source of water, and you'll need a scale, which is located behind us. So first thing first, I'll demonstrate the two tests together. You need to get the weight of your bucket empty. Come on over to the scale. And we are in kilograms. Little English units. 7.11 pounds. That's what I've got as a uh, weight here. Set your container down. Fill it. One third of the weight full. Concrete. Rod 25 times. Mount 10 and 15 times. Again, don't be afraid of anything. You're trying to close up the voids left by rock. Now this is a complicated test, especially if you're going through the pressure air meter, there's a lot of steps. Still, the number one reason people fail this test, in my experience, is forgetting the rod or forgetting the mallet layer. Don't let the simple stuff trip you up. Fill it two-thirds of the way full. Fill it with slightly overflowing. That'll be good. Again, rod 25 times. Moving all around the surface. Mallet 10 to 15 times. Since you're doing unit weight, that's a good way to fail this test. Dampen down the surface of your strike-off plate. Put it about two-thirds of the way across the bowl. And with a saw in motion, go backwards. Go back to the two-thirds spot. With a saw in motion, push forwards. Don't stop here. Keep going. Until the back end is off the bowl. You can then, if you need to, incline to get a good finish. Next step, you need to clean any excess concrete 
from outside the bowl. Take your time on this step. You need to make sure this is clean to get a good seal when you do pressure air. It's this top little lip here that needs to be cleaned to the top of that air meter to seal on the level. Carefully carry it back over to the same scale you used before. We're getting 44.5 pounds there, 44 and a half. You take the full weight of the container, 44.5 minus the empty weight, 7.11. That gives you the weight of the concrete in the container. Divide by the volume of the container, which in this case is a quarter of a cubic foot, to get your unit weight in pounds per cubic foot. I'm not going to do the math right now, but that's how you do it. Now, on with the pressure air parts. You've already filled it appropriately. Go ahead and take another second if you need to especially if your scale was uh, kind of a height, like mine was. Just touch up the cleaning job you did. A little care now will save you a lot of grief later. Damping down the inside of the top of the pressure meter, make sure you get that gasket wet. Set it down over the top, clamp it down in pairs. So get two opposing clamps on and latch. This main bleeder valve should be closed here. It's spring loaded, so that's usually not a concern. Excuse me, the main air valve should be closed. This is the bleeder valve. That you want to make sure is thumb tight, righty tighty, and it is. Make sure both pet cocks are open. On this and most meters, they're open if this uh, valve is in line with the pipe going into the pet cock there. So that would be closed, this would be open. You're then going to take your water and your syringe and inject it into one pet cock until water comes out the other side. And check for leaks around the base while you're doing this. Doesn't matter which side go. Oh, you see that? Water's coming out both sides. Jar it a few times to make sure there's no air bubbles trapped in. and you're good to go. Now, you're going to pump up the air meter to the initial pressure line. Go ahead and come around this side, James. On this air meter, the initial pressure line is three. That doesn't mean that three. They mean the numbers down there. Don't stop there. That's the reason people fail this test. So pump up the air meter. Tap the gauge. You can see there I'm right on the three. That's right where you want to be. Now if you're an overshot, you can bleed off a little air using this bleeder valve here. Just open it a little bit. Always tap the gauge lightly when you make an adjustment. There. We're on the three. Pretty much. Yeah, I 
There. So now, close both pet cops. Don't forget this step. If you're going for field certification and you see your examiner get up and move at this point, you've probably forgotten to close the pet cocks and they don't want to get wet. Have your mallet ready. Press down on the main valve. Give a couple of smart whacks to the side of the uh, container while holding down the main valve. Take your reading. Uh, we're at a non-air and train concrete, so we have very little air in here. You can see that is 1.2%, two tick marks past the one. Once you get up over 6%, the tick marks are no longer tenths of a percent. You will need to subtract the aggregate correction factor from that. That will be something provided to you. For this aggregate, that correction factor is 0.2%. So we take our reading, 1.2%, Subtract 0.2, our air content is 1%. Now, when you're done, put your hand over the pet cocks. While you open them, that's just a kindness so you don't spray someone with water. Take the lid off. It's going to make a bit of a mess, but that's okay. And then you can discharge the air from the main meter. That's all there is to it.